How do I live there? I live in a house with four other people, a German, a young German boy, um, an Indian um, man who works for a training organisation, and a Freya who is a volunteer with Boomi, um, and she runs the uh, development centre for disabled children. Um, Harish. The Indian guy, he cooks for us every day. He's a Hindu and vegetarian, so if we want meat, we have to go out somewhere else. He eats fruit on Thursdays, so Thursday night we always go out because neither Freya nor I want to cook. Because cooking is on a touring gas stove, there is no oven, we don't have a microwave, and in fact, we don't even have hot water. But okay because it's usually quite hot anyway so the water's quite warm um we live in this lovely house um beautiful modern house marble floors nice staircase no furniture but then a lot of indians don't have furniture they sit on mattresses on the floor um i have a bed a proper bed big double bed a desk a chair a mirror and an ensuite um, shower room. So, my area, and I have nice curtains in my room. No one else does. So, everybody comes and sits in my room. Because <laughs> um, I can't live like that. I need to have my creature comforts around me. Um, they make me feel better. So, that's how I live. Um, how do people see me? The Indian women that I work with um, see me as very privileged and I know compared to them I am so that is perfectly understandable from their point of view. Um, I'm very open with them, I very, um, try and be very friendly with them because why shouldn't I be? They're absolutely amazing women. Um, so we have a very easy relationship um, I think I work quite hard at that to make that easy for them because initially when I arrived this because generally speaking the only Western volunteers well generally speaking always the Western volunteers have all been under 30 um, so I'm the first person they've ever had that is um, of a certain age and so um, they sort of looked up to me as though I was some sort of memsab from the Raj um, and I really didn't like that because I'd gone there to be part of their community and to help them to help themselves. So getting over that barrier was didn't take very long because it became very clear to them that I, d I didn't want that sort of a relationship. I wanted for us all to be just women, together. Um, and so now we have a really interesting relationship. We have a lot of fun together, we laugh a lot. Um, they invite me to things, they take me out to meet other women in the community. Um, so, you know, we have a very easy relationship. Relationships with men are different. Sometimes, um, sometimes I would say more on age base rather than just younger men. Again, I'm always Lindsay ma'am. I'm always ma'am, always, even though I've asked them not to call me ma'am because I don't think they need to, but I would prefer it if they didn't. But actually, it's a form of respect that they use for older women and not just white women. So the younger men call me Lindsay Mam, but the older people just call me Lindsay. Um, 
men in general, um, having been on many times on holidays to India, often when you're on holiday, um, you are alien and you stay alien because you're always wearing Western clothes and maybe not very many of them. Um, whereas living there, I wear um, Indian clothes. I wear saris or I wear the shalwar kameez, which are the long dresses that come to your knees with the splits up and the trousers and the scarf. <laughs> <laughs> On the pavements you see people sleeping during the day and the night. Because they are living in the conditions they are, are entitled to rations. I mean, education is going to be the way that they get out of um, the situation they're in.